Welcome to Math Studio. So I'm going to take you through how to begin um, entering in some just very basic input. So for example, in this latest version, we've turned off the keyboard by default. But if you want it back, or, or the we call it the button pad. Um, so if you want it back, you can click uh, small or QWERTY, and it goes uh, across the screen like that. And then you can also change the the height as well and uh, 3 seems to be a good uh, default value and there's a lot of other options you can play with as well um, but for example if I wanted to um, let's just say define a function uh, or not even that advanced if you know just do some basic input 3 plus 4 or I can go to the button pad and do 5 times 6 divided by let's go with uh, 7 and then click solve. So you can do everything with the the mouse or you can type stuff in uh, using the keyboard as well. Um, I actually um, started off liking the keyboard a lot but the more I used the button pad for instance on the on the iPad the more I kinda got used to to working with it. So for instance um, if I wanted to define a function f of x equals sign x and then I can click plot and I have something like this and I can move it around double click to make it full screen zoom in and out I can click zoom in and out uh, minima and then zeros so that's pretty much a basic uh, example of, of what's going on here so we can then change this to solve and then it just returns the result and so for instance I can do f of 2 and that returns a, a decimal value um, I can do things like solve f of x um, or let's say f of, of 2 equals uh, f of x equals 1 half solve for x and I get something like that or another thing I can do is I can specify the interval as well. So you can either click uh, pi here or you can do an apple shift p. And I'm going to do a negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. And this will return uh, the value of arc sine of x. Um, well, okay, so it'll return what you expect to be the arc value of arc sine of x, but it really what it's doing is it's solving for sine of x equal to 1 half and it's only returning the solution in this interval right here. So this is just a very uh, basic example of how to do uh, basic arithmetic and to define functions as well.